Welcome everyone. It's another hot summer day and I'd like to talk a little bit about a helix. I built my own helix and a friend of mine built his own helix, which is what gave me the idea to build my own helix. My friend Brent Stuvlin built his own helix. Brent's had a few drawbacks. It was a beautiful helix. And what I really loved about it was when you would pull your own train, if it was a long enough train, back over itself, or when you had two trains running in pairs up and around the helix. It's, it's, it's a magnificent thing to see. So the first thing I had to do was to build a bracket that could easily raise or lower any of the tiers of the helix. Next, I wanted to make each tier wide enough for a double track and a roadbed for cars. So I bought a lot of PVC half-inch pipe and some balusters that I got on sale, a lot of bolts and nuts, and a lot of connectors for the PVC pipe. Next, I made a ton of the brackets, drilled out some scrap 4x4s as the support bases for the brackets, set carriage bolts into the PVC balusters with nuts and bolts on the bottom, and then I tested out the balusters to make sure that they would move easily up and down to adjust the height of the tiers. At this point, I started cutting 1x6 cedar decking to make each tier. Starting at the point at which the tracks would enter the helix, I buried the first set of brackets and base posts into the gravel. Next came the hard job, the math. Each wedge section had to be raised on the uphill end a certain amount so I would end up at the top of the next terrace. I used a laser level to do my original grade work and to make sure that each step along the way I was getting the correct elevation. Thank God for my seaman surveyor training while I was in the U.S. Coast and Geodetic Survey. As you can see, each section raised just about one and three-eighths of an inch. The maximum clearance between the railhead and the support beams was just under nine inches. So I set my telltale at eight inches to give us a good half an inch clearance in case and somebody has gotten themselves stuck under a support beam. The 8 inch clearance is good for most equipment up to a 124th scale. If you have larger than that, the 122nd or 120th, then you better watch out because you're going to get stuck. So when you hit a telltale, you had better stop and don't go any further or You're going to hit and you're going to jam that engine in there. So for the adjustments, all I have is a 7 16 inch wrench, open end, and you can come in and adjust either up or down and it'll raise and lower. It's nice and steady. It will not shift on you. It's a beautiful setup. Now, if you would like to add night lights, this is an easy setup to add them to. These are just the $2 cheapy little solar night lights and they work great. You can put them all around the helix. So if you're worried about the strength, here's a little demonstration. At the time, I was about 220 pounds. Now I'm keeping this video short on purpose. If I were to put all the measurements and sizes of everything in here, it would get too complicated and be too long, way too long. So, I'm going to put a link down below that will have my actual clinic, and you can go through. It's a PowerPoint presentation. Oh yes, and for those interested in the monetary value of this, without the track, I have just under $300 involved in all the wood, the PVC pipe, and even the tools, and the bolts, nuts, everything. And if anyone does need a little extra assistance, feel free to contact me. You can leave your questions in the comment sections below. And here's a couple of photos of Brent's Helix. It's a work of art, a masterpiece. It is limited by only one track, though. Uh, Brent's Helix had just one drawback. 
if you ever really wanted to adjust it, if it was starting to warp or settle or, or move a little, you had to unscrew all of the brackets and move the boards physically up and then reattach them. So you'll see what I did with mine. I changed it just a little bit. I think I improved on it. I'd love your opinions. And so if you like this video, please click the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Again, we hope to see you again soon. And I'll try to get some more interesting videos for you. If you have anything you'd especially like to see me do a video on, please leave me a comment on that. Thank you and keep it on the rails.